All right, so we've got table of integration here. Um, this is a topic that uh, we're required to uh, cover. Um, however, we're not going to have it on the exam. So more just how to do it for your homework assignments. And um, basically, we're just looking at tables on how to solve integrals. Okay? So you'll find the tables in the front or the back of your textbook. And you can look in your textbook to to uh, reference those. So here's an integral, zero to pi over two, sine two x, sine three x, dx, okay? So you go through and you look and you try to find a formula that matches this. Um, this one actually ends up looking like formula, number 79 okay so that would be the hard part going and finding the formula but it's not going to be too terribly hard formula 79 looks like this it has integral sine of a u sine of b u a and b are just numbers here but this integral is sine of a minus b u over 2 parentheses a minus b, and then minus sine of a plus b u over 2a plus b. Like I said, really all it amounts to is plugging and jugging. a here looks like it's 2, and b here looks like it's 3. So a is equal to 2, b is equal to 3. And once you have the formula, all you have to do is plug in the numbers. So the integral here is going to be sine of 2 minus 3u over 2 and then 2 minus 3. And then plus, I'm sorry, minus sine of 2 plus 3u over 2, 2 plus 3. Let's see. Now we're doing a definite integral. So this 0 to 2 pi over, or pi over 2, sine 2x, sine 3x dx is equal to, what does it equal? It's going to be sine of negative x over negative 2, and then minus sine of 5x over 10, evaluated from 0 to pi over 2. Okay, so just plug in those numbers. And pi over 2, sine of negative pi over 2, I'll let think about a Unit circle, negative pi over 2, that's going to give me negative 1. Positive pi over 2 is going to give me 1. 0 is going to be 0. So this is going to be negative 1 over negative 2 minus 5 pi over 2 that wraps around the circle and then back up here again. So that's going to be 1 over 10. Okay, minus, so f of b minus f of a, and that's just going to be 0 over negative 2 minus 0 over 10, so that's just 0. So I get 1 half minus a tenth equals, what is that, 4 tenths, which is 2 fifths. And there's your answer right there, no big deal. Okay, so that's kind of what you're doing. For uh, 7.6, I'll do one more um, just to make sure we got it. But like I said, not too stressed on this because this is just going and looking up table problems. It won't be on your exam because uh, I'm not going to give you all these formulas nor make you memorize. <laughs> okay, so x squared over square root 5 minus 4x squared dx. Now, this would probably be some type of trig substitution uh, since we have a square root, but we're going to use the table. And what do we have? Well, we have 
a number squared minus a variable squared. So anytime in my formulas I have like a, that's a, supposed to be a number, and then a u, that's supposed to be like a variable. So I'm kind of looking for this a squared minus u squared. So it's of the form integral um, u squared over square root a squared minus u squared du, okay? So when I see that, this formula here, let's see, do I have that formula? A lot of stuff to look at. Looks like, looks like number 34? Number 34? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so formula number 34 in your table of integrals. And so this says minus u over 2, square root a squared minus u squared, plus a squared over 2, sine inverse u over a, plus c. Okay, so here we need to figure out what a and u are. So what are a and u here, okay? So for this problem, looks like a squared is equal to five, okay? So that piece and that piece, right? So that means that a is equal to the square root of five. All right, that's gonna help us out. But what about u squared? What is u squared equal to? u squared equals four x squared. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. So that means u is going to be 2x. So that means x is equal to what? That means x is u over 2. Okay. And uh, dx is 1 half du. All right. So I need to... Look at the integral x squared over square root 5 minus 4x squared dx. And use my substitution. Use my substitution. What do I have? I got, well, x is equal to u over 2. So x squared is equal to u squared over 4. So I'm gonna do u over two all squared, okay? And then I have a square root five minus u squared, right? So let's do some algebra. Let's do some algebra. Oh, dx is one half du, so that's one half du. So what do I have? This is gonna get me u squared over four. Divide by four and divide by one half gets me one eighth out front. So I have u squared over, let's see, square root. So this is like square root of five squared minus u squared du. Okay. So now my formula, my formula is set up and ready to use. I'm set up and ready to use it because I'm in this form now, okay? So what does this look like? It's 1 eighth and then my formula says negative u over two square root a squared now what is a squared and what is u? u is 2x or two and the square root and that's five square root. Um, so a squared is five and then minus u squared is four x squared plus hmm, a squared is five over two 
sine inverse u is 4x squared over a is 5. Okay. Hold up. No, u. That's a, that's a u there, so I need to use a u. u is 2x. My bad. That's a 2x. All right. And then plus c. So let me close parentheses right there and we got it. All right, so that's that's kind of a kind of a mess. All right, you can see. Um, trick here is to try to look at the integral and see if the one of the formulas matches it close. Remember, a's are constants. U's are variables in your formula. Okay.